In this video, we'll discuss myocardial infarction. Myocardial infarction is death of the cardiac muscle tissue resulting from ischemia. And why ischemia occur? Due to decreased oxygen supply or due to increased oxygen demand. What's the cause of myocardial infarction? It's due to coronary atherosclerosis and superimposed thrombosis. So which artery is occluded most in myocardial infarction? Left anterior descending branch is obstructed in 50% of cases and it supplies to left ventricle left atrium and anterior intraventricular septum. Right coronary artery is obstructed in 30% of cases and supplies right atrium, right ventricle mainly and also to SA node and AV node. What are the phases of myocardial infarction? Acute phase lasts from few hours to 7 days. Healing phase lasts from 7 days to 28 days and a healed phase after 29 days. So there are two types of myocardial infarction, ST elevated and non-ST elevated, STMI and non-STMI, ST elevated and ST depression. One with ST elevation is transmural and that's due to the complete occlusion of a major coronary artery. Transmural infarction involves the full thickness of the cardiac wall, involves a subendocardial infarction. There is ST depression in subendocardial infarction and it involves the partial thickness of the cardiac wall, half or one third of the thickness of the wall. What's the cause of subendocardial infarction? Subendocardial infarction is due to incomplete occlusion of a major coronary artery or due to occlusion of a smaller branch of coronary artery. Most commonly, it's due to rupture or erosion of atherosclerotic plaque causing embolization and thrombosis. 40% of the patient have single vessel disease and 15% have three vessel disease and what's culprit lesion. In geography it shows eccentric stenosis with a scallop or overhanging edges and a narrow neck. An angioscopy reveals white platelet rich thrombi in subendocardial infarct and it may also result from severe hypertension as in shock in otherwise non-critical coronary stenosis. So why and more than three four of the patients are male. So what's the most common cause of death in the myocardial infarction? Ventricular fibrillation is the most common cause of death within first 24 hours and 50% of the deaths occur within first hour and 30 day mortality rate from acute myocardial infarction is 30%. What's the EKG criteria for reperfusion? To consider reperfusion of a transmural infarct, ST elevation should be more than one millimeter in two limb lead or more than 2 millimeters into contagious chest leads. How about the T wave? T wave may be flipped or flat and is followed by inversion. What does ST elevation, T inversion, and Q wave? Mean. ST elevation indicates injury to the myocardial tissues. T wave inversion indicates ischemia and Q wave indicates the tissues are dead and are negative compared to the surrounding normal tissue. That's why it gives a negative deflection. Presence of left bundle branch may interfere with diagnosis of myocardial infarction on EKG. In the acute phase there is ST elevation and after a few hours there is appearance of the Q wave but is not deep and after one to two days Q wave become deeper and T wave becomes inverted ST remains elevated and days later the ST become normal and T is still inverted and then after weeks ST and T both of them become normal and Q wave persists in D. So what are the clinical features of myocardial infarction? 25% of the MI are silent as occur in diabetes. There is no pain and shock or confusion, delirium and congestive heart failure. Chest pain persisting for more than 30 minutes and diaphoresis is strongly suggest STMI. So what are the different clinical features? Patient may have normal pulse and blood pressure in the first hour. And then feature depends on which wall is affected. In case of anterior wall infarction, the features of sympathetic nervous system activity, tachycardia and hypertension and abnormal systolic pulsation due to dyskinetic infarcted myocardium. And in case of inferior infarction there are features of parasympathetic nervous system bradycardia and hypertension in myocardial infarction apical pulse may be difficult to palpate third and fourth heart sound are present there is decreased intensity of the first heart sound and second heart sound has paradoxical splitting there may be apical systolic murmur due to mitral regurgitation and systolic blood pressure may decline by 10 to 15 millimeters of mercury and what's ventricular remodeling after stemi left ventricle undergoes a series of changes in shape, size, thickness in both infarcted and uninfarcted tissue. This is known as ventricular remodeling.